Alright guys, here I am with another new to me product that I'm going to do a review on. Now I had just opened up um, a little tofu pudding, which is really good, and I thought, oh this would be a perfect time to just sample the whipped cream. I got this at my local grocery store in their health food department at Fortino's. It was uh, I think five reduced to five twenty four and also fifty percent off of five twenty four so I got it for under three dollars. This is normally in some places like Whole Foods as much as seven dollars maybe six ninety nine or seven ninety nine pretty pricey so getting it for like two eighty or whatever I got it for is a good deal. It's vegan lactose free gluten free and I made a mistake because although I haven't opened it yet, but it says here for best results, store upside down in your fridge now. I think I heard from someone else that this can get very thick inside um, the can, maybe once you start to use it, and I've kind of found that with whipped creams in general, even the coconut whipped cream, which I love, the Gailey one, there, you hit a point where it doesn't want to come out, it becomes frustrating. Um, in any case, let's uh, see, so what's inside? Ingredients, organic soy beverage, which is water and soybeans, organic coconut oil, organic fractionated palm kernel oil, organic sh sugar beet syrup, organic maltodextrin, tar tartaric acid, haven't heard of that, carrageenan, sea salt, natural vanilla extract, propellant is nitrous oxide. Okay, um, so the container may explode if heated, obviously, uh, do not puncture, do not burn. Oops, I punctured the uh, the Gay Lee can when I couldn't get any that coconut whipped cream out. It was so good, I had to like kill the can to make sure I got the rest. Okay, so usage tips, use soya too, like a classic whipped cream with cakes, desserts, and fruit. Oh, also for cappuccino and hot and chocolate drinks. They still have more of these for three bucks, or sorry, two whatever. I will get more if I like this. See instructions before using. Okay, so instructions, let's just take a look. Refrigerate after opening. Really? Dispense at room temperature. I already had it refrigerated. Remove from fridge about 15 minutes before using to warm contents. Okay. Break safety seal at the base of the square shaped dispenser bottom. Shake can until contents loosen. Turn can upside down and shake contents firmly toward nozzle. Hold can upside down and press square shaped button down to dispense. Flip open nozzle and clean thoroughly after use. Oh, okay, so we got pictures here. I don't want to wait 15 minutes. I'm gonna shake. Okay, I'm gonna just open this and see. What am I supposed? I just read what I'm supposed to do, and it feels as though I lost it all. Let's see. I think I'm supposed to. What am I supposed to do? Oh, okay, I heard that. Okay. I might have to wait 15 minutes, where, where, where. I'm gonna sh actually, I'm shaking, I'm, I'm hearing it. Let's see. Okay, good. Awesome. Now I could put, I have some peach, I might cut some up on there. Perp comes out perfectly, beautifully foamed. You know what? This tastes delicious. I think it has a slightly, mm, maybe it's the vanilla flavor, it has a slightly different taste in my mind than um, your typical whipped cream, but it's delicious, guys. Holds, holds its shape well. What I'll do now is when I put it back in the fridge, I'll make sure I have it upside down. Of course, the issue right now is the can is full, so there's no need to worry about it not coming out, but I guess if you want to get every good glass morsel out of here, you've got to store it upside down. I'll be buying more of these because at 50% of two five twenty four, so about uh, two sixty something, two sixty two, I think, you can't go wrong. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Let me just show you here. Okay, there you go. There's the whipped cream. Beautiful. Thanks for watching.